Welcome to our first kindergarten math dive in five. We are going to focus on solving problems with both add-ends unknown today. My name is Shannon Young. I am a coach with the elementary math department. And I am Alyssa Foss. I am a math DRT. All right, All right you ready to dive in? I am. Um, I just really want to know the difference between both add-ends unknown and the other types of problems we've been doing all year. All right. Well, I think I have a chart to help with that. Love charts. Okay, here's our chart. So we're really focusing on the white sections, which are the kindergarten expectations. First grade is light gray, second grade is dark gray. I am going to highlight in purple for you the kindergarten expectations, just so they pop out a little bit better. What, I, what we would like for you to do is go ahead and pause the video and read through the different sh um, kindergarten expectations. And then when we come back, we'll talk about what the differences are. All right. All right, what did you notice about the differences? Okay, so the add to and take from are definitely the related. So, um, let's see, take those, please. If I have three green colored pencils and you give me some, I'm adding to what I have. Yep. But if I do the opposite and you take some from me, then it's like the reverse action. Exactly. Yeah. So there's actions happening in the mm -hmm. problem. So what's the difference between the put together total unknown? Because we're still looking for the answer. Right, so the put together is a little bit different because there's not really an action. They're more just like, there's five pencils right. and what is the total? Exactly. Or what are each? Yeah, nothing's really happening with the colored pencils. So, for example, if I had um, three green colored pencils in my pencil pouch and two brown colored pencils in my pencil pouch, how many pencils would I have in my pencil pouch? Right, so we're trying to find the total, the sum. Yeah, exactly. So they're already in there, so we're not really doing anything. Right. We're just adding, we're just counting them together. Okay. So what did you notice about the, in the chart that's different with the both add-ins unknown? So I noticed right away all of the equations, which makes me think, how are we going to get our kindergarten students comfortable with this type of problem? Yeah, this is definitely the first time that they'll have more than one answer right. in a problem. So an example like that would be if I had a pencil pouch and mm -hmm. in my pencil pouch, I had I had five colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Some of them were brown, some of them were green. So the difference is this time I know the sum but not the add-ins. And with the put together, I knew the add-ins, but not the sum. Exactly. So if you had just one brown pencil in the pencil pouch, how many green ones could you have? Right. So I'd need to find the other add-end to get to the sum that I already know. Yeah, exactly. And then it would change if you had two, right? Right. So multiple, multiple solutions. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I think you're ready now to try out a problem Let's on your own. What do, do you it. think? All right. All right, so here's our problem. What we would like for you to do is you're going to solve the problem just like we're gonna solve the problem and think about the different ways that your students are gonna solve it, what tools they would use, what kinds of pictures they would draw. Go ahead and pause the video and when we come back, we'll share some solutions that we came up with. All right. 